What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is I, the Earthmaster, here on this Sunday evening, uh, March 6, 2022, about 6.17 p.m. California time here along the West Coast. Latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe there from the EMSC shows a 3.1 just coming in there to the Alaska region, just up in the uh, corner of the Pacific Plate boundary there. That's a movement over here along the uh, section here of the Pacific Plate as well in this corner along the Japan coast. Let's go ahead and check out this activity. Over the last 24 hours or so in the map of the USGS here, 2.5 and above, you can see those two earthquakes there I was talking about. Got a uh, 3.1 up in the Canada region. Just looks like just right on the uh, border there. Well inland at about 8.0, 8.0 kilometers. And some activity over here just coming in as well within the last hour just off the coast of Japan at 36.6 kilometers. This earthquake there into the Japan Trench. Uh, looking at the further uh, areas down south here into the Tonga region and the Kermadec Trench and New Zealand all getting in on some activity today. Got a uh, 5.1 into the Kermadec Islands area, 275 kilometers, a little bit further up north. Seeing a uh, 5.0 in the Tonga, pretty shallow earthquake there. This one down here, 4.5 in the South Island, New Zealand area, 86.3 kilometers backside here uh, over around this plate boundary, uh, kicking up in the last 24 hours of movement. I'm going to check out the activity uh, real quick here on the, I was just checking out the volcanoes, nothing really new on any of those as far as uh, any recent eruptions, a couple there in Japan from a couple days ago, but um, other than that, nothing spectacular in the volcanic department. Uh, stand by real quick. I want to check out the GeoNet server. See what these folks are reporting here uh, for earthquake activity. These guys are showing a 5.1. Um, says yesterday though. That's, that's kind of odd. 5.1. 626 p.m. time. Hmm. 626. 526. So yeah, it looks like this one here was. Uh, earlier this morning way or, or actually late last night from that time frame so that would make sense for the yesterday on the geonet map there so they're reporting a 5.1 uh, emsc model reporting a 4.5 for that uh, earthquake looks like uh, some smaller quakes as well north island region but uh, let's, well, they had a 4.7 see this is that one i don't know if they're if it's legit or not from yesterday because I didn't see this pop up on the EMSC or the USGS model so sometimes hard to tell when they delete these quakes uh, back over here to the USGS map uh, movement kind of kicking up here look at this over the last hour uh, getting some movement had a 5.0 out in the mid Indian Ridge as well defaulted 10, uh, 10 kilometer depth there for that uh, earthquake out in the ocean and uh, some movement up here in the Greece area just kicking up here Actually, Albania. What I, I could have swore I had something uh, come in from the Greece area a little bit ago on my earthquake app. Maybe not. Uh, but then again, I think that was from the EMSC. So 4.4 in Albania. Kicking up here north of Greece at uh, 10 kilometers. Not, uh, we haven't seen too much earthquake activity out there in recent time. Uh, let's see what we got for historical data. Of course, a lot of earthquake activity, it looks like, since about 1900 or so. And there's some big ones in there as well. 5 to 6.0 magnitude quakes uh, in the mix. But around the epicenter here uh, in the mountains there, looks like uh, yeah, looks like there's definitely been some 4.5s or above in the region. Uh, let's check out the last seven days of activity within this area as far as uh, the USGS map shows. I really haven't seen a whole lot here around uh, any of the areas here around the Mediterranean Sea. Just a uh, another 4.4 there in Italy, so kind of odd there, but then again, this is the 4.0 and above from the uh, USGS, so not showing anything below that. Uh, there's an earthquake in uh, Uganda area from this morning. Almost, uh, that should be dropping off the, off the map here pretty soon, pretty old earthquake, but uh, 4.6 in that region. No further subsequent activity there. Uh, today there's that uh, pretty big earthquake down in the South Sandwich Trench 6.0 originally came in as a 6.1 magnitude quake but uh, it bounces around sometimes they try and 
uh, tune things and uh, see if they can get the uh, accurate measurement. So 6.0 is what they come up with. At the 15.5 kilometer depth there for that earthquake into the uh, subduction zone. Uh, no further subsequent activity kicking up here since that 6.0. Uh, South America region has seen some movement. Uh, looks like 5.5 in the Argentina area. That was from last night. Uh, since then we have seen a couple fours a little bit further upstream up north here. But still deep into the subduction zone of the Peru Chile Trench. A little hot spot of activity kicking up here uh, in the South America region. 5.5 there in Mexico from last night as well. Uh, let's see in the Puerto Rico area. This is some older movement as well. Had this 4. Point, uh, looks like a 4.2. Okay, it was a 4.4, I believe, in the uh, Puerto Rico trench area. But uh, not a whole lot of movement since then. That was this morning. 19, uh, 1940 for the 2.2. So I guess that's the only one that has struck here since that uh, four-pointer this morning in that area. Western coast, United States. All magnitude map here. What do we got going on? Uh, one little earthquake up here around the uh, Lake Almanor area, just south here. Kind of an odd spot, 8.7 kilometers. But, uh, hmm, kind of a weird deal there. But uh, I'm surprised we don't have anything kicking up here on the uh, southern end of the Cascadia because check out this number here. This is today's trimmer activity, 276 epicenters of trimmer. I'm going to refresh this to show you guys. Right there in Northern California, or under Northern California, I should say, down dip underneath the North American plate, all confined here to the Northern California region. Subsequent M energy released over here. Remember, these trimmers are not uh, earthquakes in any way, but they're kind of like a slow vibrational slippage of the two plates here. You got the uh, Juan de Fuca plate, of course, if you want to get down to detail, it would basically be the Gorda plate here on the southern end. But the Juan de Fuca plate as a whole, so to speak, most people know it is that, uh, subducting underneath the North American plate. And that's where we're seeing this trimmer activity kick up in a pretty big way tonight. Last night, we had, uh, oh, what we have here? We had uh, 242 epicenters there, kind of stretching down to Northern California. I want to do a total tally here of earthquake activity over the last, uh, let's see, what do we got here? We can do since about Monday or so because that's kind of when it, uh, kind of when it started kicking up here. It's been pretty active, uh, uh, that during that entire time frame, 797 epicenters of trimmers. So we're kind of getting back up there into the trend of, of slippage down there into the Cascadia subduction zone. Now, what does that mean? Well, the, hopefully, I, I think we're coming to the end of the quiet spell because it's been uh, very, very quiet uh, throughout December, January, and February. We only had a couple days of uh, some very small trimmer. So that's a, just a little odd. I, I know we get quiet spells, but uh, I don't know about months-long quiet spells. So uh, we'll see if this continues. I think we are coming to an end of the quietness here. Uh, considering we've seen almost now a week of uh, trimmer activity on pretty much every given day since then. Uh, so we will keep a, keep a watch on it. And I still think here, when we see this trimmer activity kick up uh, in a big fashion here, it only creates further strain upstream, right? Because you gotta got to remember the locked area is not down here. It's not further down. It's up here. So when we get the slippage of the Juan de Fuca plate underneath the North American plate, it's ultimately, right, slipping, going down further into underneath the surface here, about 35 kilometers, that plate is. So what's going on? We're building. We're building up pressure up here along the locked area upstream of the Cascadia subduction zone here. So we're upstream of the trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone. Let me get that right. So, uh, you know, it's just, it, it continues. It could build up like this for, for years and years to come, but... I still think when we see large amounts of trimmer is when we could possibly see this thing release its full potential. But uh, over last week or since Monday, 797 epicenters of trimmer. We'll see what this uh, see what this baby looks like tomorrow. Here, it's kind of interesting here when this thing pops up. Uh, so that could explain possibly some of this earthquake activity we're seeing um, kind of inland and in some weird spots. But I just don't understand why we're not seeing any activity over here. Uh, on the uh, coastal areas, but that may change. We'll see. 
Mount St. Helens area, some activity up here in the volcanic region of that of that uh, area in Washington. Just, just some small microquakes there. Largest one to 0.6 around the Mount St. Helens area. All other volcanoes throughout the Cascades and the Sierra Nevada look pretty quiet. Uh, one little lonesome earthquake, lonesome, way up here around Acme, Washington. Hmm, never heard of that. 0.9 at 8.3 kilometers. Uh, let's see what else we got here for the uh, California region. Bay Area looks pretty quiet. Of course, we've got the geyser activity there kicking up, as always, in the Cobb Mountain region of uh, Clear Lake. Around Long Valley Super Volcano, some activity stretching up here across the board. Mostly microquakes in the one range and down here around Ridgecrest area. Seeing a little bit of swarming kick up here in the two range and some ones kicking up uh, over the last 24 hours. But overall, general seismic activity here in California, for the most part, southern part, uh, looks pretty quiet. I know there's earthquake activity, right? Can't say quiet because there is earthquake activity on the map, but uh, just nothing. I mean, really nothing within the last hour either uh, throughout the Southern California region. One little earthquake outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, up here around the Spring Mountains area. 0.8, 1.4 kilometers, pretty shallow earthquake here in that region. What else we got? Pecos, Texas, Oklahoma. All these areas all just kind of calming down in the earthquake department. Eastern part of the country quite as well. Uh, seen some movement or seen some weather out there in Arkansas today, right? Seen a bunch of tornadoes, or at least one confirmed tornado around the Leslie, Arkansas area. Had a friend of mine out there uh, doing some storm chasing, which I will be doing pretty soon. Uh, so Leslie area. Definitely seen uh, some activity. Clinton got up here. Marshall. All these areas were underneath a tor tornado warning today. And uh, I don't think it hit the town of Leslie area. But uh, there was definitely a, a tornado on the ground uh, west, of the, uh, west of the region here of Clinton. Well west. So uh, hopefully no, uh, no injuries and whatnot uh, with that tornado. Hopefully everyone uh, took heed to the uh, National Weather Service warnings and whatnot there in the area. Tomorrow looks like weather will shift further east there with a little bit less of a severe threat. But still, uh, the potential is there. 4.8 way, way up here in the Beaufort Sea. 10 kilometer depth for that earthquake. Let's go ahead and check out Earthquakes Canada map here while we're on it. See what these folks are reporting there from the uh, the region. These guys aren't showing any earthquake activity up there. Uh, let's see here. The only one they are showing is this uh, purple circle right here from like three days ago. So not for sure what's going on with this agency, but uh, they're not definitely not showing the one up there north of Canada. So. Uh, USGS, on the other hand, is so you know, vice versa. We get these, get these agencies, agencies kind of taking a break once in a while, and uh, who knows what? Maybe they don't cover that area, but I could have swore they did. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, lack of activity, kind of stretching through the Philippines and Indonesia area. This thing's kind of calmed down a little bit. Uh, looks like we may be focusing the board over here, but uh, it's hard to say. Definitely getting a lot of sh shuffling around with that 6.1 that struck down here uh, this morning with South Sandwich Trench. Things just kind of been a little spotty on earthquake activity, shuffling of the plates, so to speak. Uh, EMSC model, let me bring these guys up here and see uh, see what they are reporting here in the on a different map. Uh, there's, they're reporting that earthquake out there is a 4.8 in Canton, north of Canada. And uh, some activity in South America, of course. We'll shoot down to the smaller magnitudes map and uh, check out all the threes and the twos kicking up here along the major subduction zones. Middle America Trench, South, the uh, South America region, all seen uh, some earthquake activity here uh, over the past couple days. Some Australia earthquake activity as well. A couple twos out there in Australia. And uh, these guys reporting 4.4 and also 3.8 mixed in there as well uh, from earlier today. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Check out Hawaii. I don't believe we have too much movement or activity to discuss here. Uh, 2.5 map only shows a 2.7 here around the southeast region of the Big Island. 
Uh, the all magnitudes map here shows uh, a little bit of activity over the last hour with a couple twos out here around the southeast region and some movement up around Mauna Loa and westward uh, 2.1 13.4 kilometers in this area along the western coast uh, but overall no major volcanic changes or activity ramping up on the big island what do we got going on on the big sun the big sun out there in space uh, looks like they toned down the geomagnetic forecast a little bit there. This, this was a stretch in the yellow across the board. Of course, uh, a night has passed, but it still looks like they've taken off a night or so of uh, the uh, elevated 3 to 4 KP index here. So it looks like only tonight a little bit of activity ramping up over overall the next few nights, or at least the next couple nights here on the board, back into the green zone. sunspot activity uh let's go ahead and check this out up here I'm getting uh getting a little i shouldn't say cluttered but uh we're getting pretty active here on the earth side of the sun you can see a couple spots forming right here uh directly facing us there's a bunch of sunspots here 2960 is pretty uh pretty big it's grown out there so it's 2962 so we'll see what these things are capable of um in the coming days this one here is just getting ginormous as uh, far as solar flare threat goes from these folks showing a 75 percent chance of a c flare uh 25 percent for an m flare and also a um, little bit of an elevated five percent chance of an x flare uh, from these sunspots facing the earth side so we'll see what happens here kind of lighten up a little bit there on the uh on the uh, map here All right, folks, uh, I'm going to jump off here. Hope everyone enjoys your day. And, um, yeah, just stay safe out there. Definitely stay safe. And we'll, we'll, we will definitely talk to you tomorrow sometime. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, click that notification bell so you can get notified when we do go live. I was just doing a, a GoPro live test with the uh, GoPro 10 here that I got. Just making sure that the streaming function is... Uh, up and running because I will be storm chasing out here pretty darn soon uh, because it's something that I love to do I know a lot of folks here on the channel uh, want strictly earthquake volcanic solar weather and whatnot uh, but uh, we've got a pretty big fan base here of weather uh, weather enthusiast folks out here such as me and uh, quite a few, like I mentioned quite a few people enjoy the uh, storm chases that we do every year so we will be doing that. Uh, if you don't like storm chases, that's okay. That's not an issue. But uh, we will be doing that uh, pretty soon here. Of course, that won't affect the earthquake activity or earthquake updates at all. Uh, the earthquake live 3D stream will run consistently and solid 24-7 as it has been for many years. I know we have some ups and downs and bumps and whatnot with some suspicious activity going on here. But uh, uh, we always bring it back up. But uh, look for the storm chasing opportunities here. Uh, pretty soon all right folks have a good day stay safe out there quite the multitude of twos out there across the mediterranean seas uh, region remember uh on the usgs map it looked pretty absent of movement but there's definitely earthquake activity ramping up out there in the one and two range uh, not for sure why it's showing all of those we don't want a bunch of ones in here so i try to keep it down to about uh Oh, at about 2.5 and above, somewhere around there. But uh, you've seen on the map there how it showed quite a bit of uh, movement in the 1 and 2 range. So always earthquake activity going on uh, pretty much everywhere. All right, folks, enjoy your evening. Take care. Have a good night. Peace out.